Imagine this, you're standing in your garage, staring at your car's engine, about to pour in that fresh bottle of 0W20 oil because the manual says so. But what if I told you that same exact engine in another part of the world thrives on something thicker, like 5W30, and lasts longer without breaking a sweat? What if sticking to the official recommendation is actually shaving years off your motor's life, costing you a fortune in hidden wear? It's not a conspiracy, but it's damn close to one, driven by boardrooms, bureaucrats, and a dash of bad science. Stick with me here, because in the next few minutes, I'm going to pull back the curtain on why this oil divide exists, arm you with the real data from teardowns and labs, and show you how to choose the oil that actually protects your ride. No BS, no sales pitch, just straight talk from someone who's seen engines bleed out from the wrong choice. Let's dive right in with the head-scratcher that's got forums buzzing. Identical engines, worlds apart in oil specs. Picture the Honda Civic's 1.5L Turbo, sleek, efficient, the heart of millions of daily drivers. In America, it's 0W20 or bust. Flip to the UK or Japan, and it's 5W30 all day. Same pistons, same turbos, same everything. Is it the rain in London? The snow in Tokyo? Nah, that's too easy. The real culprit? A tangled web of fuel regs, corporate shortcuts, and an obsession with squeezing every last MPG for the feds. But here's where it gets personal. That thinner oil might be padding the manufacturer's pockets while thinning out your engine's defenses. Think about it like this. America's cafe standards are like a noose around automakers' necks. Miss your fleet-wide mileage targets, and you're hit with fines that could bankrupt a small country. So, they gain the system. Thinner oils cut friction, bump those test numbers by a half to a full MPG. Sounds smart, right? Until you realize it's a trade-off. Less drag means less protection when things heat up. I've talked to engineers off the record. One from a big three automaker whispered, We design for the lab, not the highway. In Europe or Asia, where regs are looser on mileage but tougher on emissions longevity, they opt for 5W30 to keep bearings cushioned and rings sealed tight. It's durability over desk jockey efficiency. Now, let's get geeky for a second on what these numbers actually mean, because misunderstanding this is where most folks trip up. That 0W and 0W20, it's your cold weather warrior, flowing like water at startup to shield against dry cranks and sub zero temps. The 20 is the hot side story, how it holds up when your engine's screaming at 250 degrees. Jump to 5W30, a touch thicker on cold starts, but beefier at peak heat, forming a tougher film that laughs off sheer and stress. Contrast that, 0W20 is like a lightweight boxer, quick and efficient, but one heavy hit and it's reeling. 5W30, your heavyweight champ, absorbing punishment mile after mile. For the same engine block, it's all about priorities. Chase that EPA sticker or build a beast that outlives the odometer. But engines aren't born equal, they evolve, or more accurately, they wear. Modern mills from Toyota or Ford are machined to razor-thin tolerances, perfect for thin oils that slip through without drag, warming fast and passing clean air tests. Older rides or high milers, those gaps widen like crow's feed with age. Stick with 0W20 past 100K and you're inviting varnish, slop, and eventual knocks. Pros on sites like Bob is the Oil Guy swear by bumping up a grade. Treat your engine like fine wine. It matures, so should its lube. It's not rebellion, it's reality. And don't get me started on heat, the silent killer most manuals ignore. America's got deserts, traffic jams, and endless interstates where oil temps spike like a fever. Labs like Blackstone have clocked 0W20 breaking down 15% faster in 100-degree scorchers, while 5W30 sails through. Why do Aussies and Middle Eastern markets get the thicker stuff for the same Nissan or Mazda? Because their sun doesn't forgive thin blood. If you're hauling trailers in Texas or idling in LA gridlock, that extra viscosity isn't luxury, it's armor. The kicker? Engineers often fight this in-house, but the EPA calls the shots. Certify with 0W20 and you're locked in. Changing means retesting the whole car, a nightmare of time and cash. So manuals parrot the thin oil line, with footnotes whispering, 5W30 OK if unavailable. Read between the lines, it's viable, just not profitable to admit. 
But talk is cheap. Let's hit the hard evidence. Take a pair of Subaru 2.5L boxers, twins in every way. One sipped 0W20 for 150K in Vegas heat. The other guzzled 5W30. Teardown time? The thin oil motor showed scored cams and elevated iron in samples, signs of creeping death. The thicker one? Pristine internals, 35% less wear particles. Or Honda's turbo mills. Switch to 5W30 and oil burn plummets. Turbos spin happier. Project Farms Dino Runs? Back this. Fuel savings from thin oil? Pennies. Longevity boost from thick? Priceless. Warranty worries holding you back? Relax, the Magnuson Moss Act has got your six. Car makers can't void coverage unless they prove your swap caused the fail. Use a spec matching 5W30 synthetic and you're golden. Dealership bulletins even greenlight it quietly for extreme conditions. Dig deeper and it's the secret sauce in the oil that seals the deal, not just the grade. Premium synthetics pack ZDDP for anti-wear magic, Molly for slickness, esters for heat defiance. A top-shelf 0W20 can edge out bargain bin 5W30, but pair quality with the right thickness and your engine sings. Tribologists, yeah, oil wizards in racing circuits, preach this. Match the brew to your brew haha. Cold ratings get twisted too. Sure, 0W shines in blizzards, but unless you're dog sledding in Fargo, the edge is slim. Hot performance? That's where 5W30 flexes, guarding against boil offs in your Florida commute. Here's the insider scoop mechanics don't drink their own Kool Aid. Chatting with ASE certified techs from Chevy to Kia shops, most confess they run 5W30 in their personal whips. Specs for the sticker, one sizzled vet said, but my truck, thicker oil, fewer headaches. It's the unspoken code, protect what you love, regs be damned. So, what's your move? If you're city hopping in mild winters with fresh oil changes, 0W20 is your efficient buddy, but for highway warriors, heat-soaked haulers, or engines with stories to tell past 75K, go 5W30 synthetic. It's the global standard for that same heart under your hood. You're not defying design, you're honoring it beyond the paperwork. If this just saved your engine, or at least sparked a rethink, smash that like button, subscribe for more no-fluff car truths, and ring the bell so you never miss the next reveal. Your ride deserves the best. Let's keep it rolling strong.